friends, and welcome to another Origins of Expressions. Today, we'll be going over the phrases, suck a lemon, buy a lemon. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. What do they all have in common? They're all phrases and idioms around lemons. Let's get right to work and start this video. Lemons, that small oval yellow citrus fruit that has amazing antibacterial properties, a loaded history, and a global presence. This sour citrus delight was once even considered a status of wealth. Because lemons have been part of our history for so long, it is no surprise that they have popped up in our language as idioms and expressions. Today we'll be exploring three phrases where lemons are the subject. Let's go ahead and peel into our first phrase. Suck a lemon. Suck a lemon is an expression of anger, scorn, or disdain. Ugh, go suck a lemon. This phrase might have started out a bit differently. It is said that in the age of sailing, the high seas, scurvy, was a major problem for sailors on long sea voyages. Early 17th century physicians promoted the practice of sucking on oranges or lemons as a preventative measure to avoid the vitamin C deficiencies that caused scurvy. Fast forward almost 90 years to the War of the Third Coalition and specifically the Battle of Trafalgar, the decisive sea battle between England and Napoleonic France. At the start of the battle, Admiral Horatio Nelson asked for Admiral Villeneuve's surrender. The French commander reputably told Nelson to go suck a lemon. Perhaps as a way of suggesting Nelson needed some vitamin C because he must have been riddled by disease if he thought the French would give up so easily. Today, the phrase, go suck a lemon, is primarily heard in the U.S. and Canada, and it is used to express anger towards somebody else. An example sentence is, I can't believe you told your teacher to suck a lemon after she yelled at you. Yikes, looks like they're going to get in trouble. Let's leave as we move on. Buy a lemon. Buy a lemon was suggested in the comments of our Cars Idioms video by Raul Diaz. There's a link to that video in the description if you haven't seen it yet. A big shout out to Raul. I appreciate the support. To buy a lemon means to purchase something that is worthless, broken, unsatisfactory, not of its reported value. Well, that turned out to be a lemon. Often, the word lemon is applied to a new car or other mechanical devices that never worked properly. However, anything that doesn't live up to its reputation or does not meet expectations can be considered a lemon. So why lemon? Well, since 1863, the word lemon has been slang term to mean worthless thing or a person who is a simpleton, perhaps an image of someone a smarter person can suck the juice out of to deceive them. It changes again in 1906 to mean something that leaves a bad taste in one's mouth. By 1931, we start talking about lemons in the sense of buying a lemon, specifically a secondhand car in poor condition. Thank goodness in many countries, lemon laws protect consumers who buy a lemon or purchase a new vehicle that turns out to work improperly. Because, you know, it's reasonable to expect a new item to work. Today, we still see this idiom used quite often. We use it to say we were just sold a subpar car. Today's example sentence is given by Raul. It reads, I was told the car was in perfect condition. It turned out to be a lemon. Yikes, hope they get a better car soon. No one likes to be misled. Well, while they work this out, let's move over to our next phrase. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade means make the best out of a difficult situation. Embrace life in whatever form. Make something sweet out of something bitter. Well, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. Of all the citrus fruits, the lemon is quite sour and bitter to taste. So it is often used in negative expressions in the English language. This phrase wants us to find optimism in the face of difficulty by suggesting that if life puts you in a difficult situation, or gives you bad luck, try to turn it into something positive or to your advantage. This saying was originally started by a Christian radical writer, Albert Hubbard, in a 1915 obituary he wrote and published for a dwarf actor, Marshall Pickney Wilder. The obituary, entitled The King of Jesters, praises Wilder's optimistic attitude and achievements in the face of his disabilities. It read, 
He cashed in on his disabilities. He picked up the lemons that fate gave him and started a lemonade stand. The next time we see this phrase is in 1948 in Dale Carnegie's book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. It reads, if you have a lemon, make a lemonade. Today we still use this phrase to say, embrace life in whatever form. To look onto the brighter side, or just to know that something sweet can come from something sour. An example sentence is, I lost my job due to the pandemic, so I decided to start a YouTube channel. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, they're busy making videos. Let's leave them and move on. Ooh, fun fact. Did you know that lemonade is scientifically thirst quenching? Yep, that's right. Researchers have found that sour and tart flavors stimulate the salivary glands more than any other taste. Further, acidity masks less refreshing flavors like sweetness. That means that even just after one sip of a traditional glass of lemonade, which boasts a sour sweet profile, can provide immediate relief for dry mouth and leave you feeling refreshed. Well, with warmer weather and sunny skies upon us this summer, no wonder why it's our go-to favorite summertime drink. Well, that's the information that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the origins of our idioms and phrases. I would love to have you subscribe if you did. It is as quick and easy as sipping an ice cold lemonade on a hot day. And I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, quick question before you go. Do you know any idioms or phrases around lemons? Maybe you know other idioms or phrases on an entirely different subject. I would love to see them. Leave them in the comments below. And you know, if I use one of the phrases, I'll give you a shout out. Thank you again for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, bye!